the truth. What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play. Hope you all are having a good day. Today is a special day. It's a very special day. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. It, 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 the the to-do list is looking fantastic. We got a whole bunch of stuff planned. I'm doing a little bit of building, some exploring today. Uh, it, it, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So why don't we go ahead and uh, and take a peek at this to-do list? So the big thing today is I want to visit the ocean and check out some of those awesome new features. But before I do that, I want to do a little bit. Of enchanting I want to give an updated tour of the crib and then I also want to make a small doghouse for Rusty uh, it, it's gonna be an awesome episode but you guys know before any of that starts we got a little bit of work to do in in the pond in the pond we're doing some fishing today last episode you guys were able to get 3,000 likes which means I'll be fishing in the pond for three minutes. The timer's already started, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're going. Let's see what we can grab today. So far, so good. Two fish. Not bad. Oh, a name tag. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. So that's the first rare thing. Other. Oh, another book. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gents, it's getting crazy. We still have like two more minutes left. Um, a lot of fish, some name tags, and a book so far. Not too bad. Okay, time is running up. Oh, okay, I think we might be able to get one or two more. Oh, come on, where's the fish? Where's the fish? Okay, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna get, oh, there's a bow, and that is for sure the last cast. Yes, and we get a salmon. Oh my goodness, we got a ton of stuff. Okay, let's uh, let, let's head over here and check it out. So, two name tags, that is not bad at all. We're up to four now, that's impressive. Some leather boots, two tripwire hooks, a puffer fish, a book with what? Okay, that's uh, that's an impressive book. And then a bow with mending and unbreaking. This is uh, this is pretty big. This is uh, this is pretty big. So I'm gonna leave all that in there for now. Except this, I kind of want to just go ahead and. Uh, it, it, these could use some depth strider now I'm not gonna do the enchantment just yet But I want to put this away and we'll be able to use that depth strider on our brand new boots But before we do that before we enchant anything I do want to give an updated tour of the crib because some things have changed between this episode and the last one And I want to show you guys what's up so starting over here by the waterfall as you guys can tell We've got a new little corridor here. This is not final by any means, but we finally uh, connected the two floors of this little hut together. So now we got a nice little view over here. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Also, all of this has now been changed to birch. I, I just wanted it to match my other builds, so th th I guess that's the reason for that. And as you can tell, I added a little bit more foliage up there, and and, uh, and I I'm working up along the walls, bringing the cobble and all that up to the top. So eventually, this whole ravine is going to be looking pretty Pretty nice and the hallway is nowhere near done it's just it's just really a way to get up and down right now I'll add some design and flavor to it later um, maybe making it look a little more like this one now this one isn't done either I got to figure out what to do with the floor but the walls and ceiling are looking kind of nice and this one takes us all the way up to this ramp up here which is uh, which is um well, it doesn't really lead anywhere now, but it's cool. It's cool. The bigger changes though came in here uh, Yes, I know rusty. I know I left you in here. My apologies. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is the design I went for uh, on our um, on our uh, on our mob farm now, I, I, I must admit, you might you might think, wait, this is so much different than the last episode, and it's not, it's not. The only thing that's really different is the look of it. Um, everything else is the same, I didn't change any redstone, uh, we still got all the stuff back here if you guys want to take a look. I still haven't figured out, okay, maybe not the best idea to do that. Jeez. <laughs> so like I said, only visual changes, but we'll walk through them here. I got this little trap door. This is where I'll eventually keep potions. Uh, none in there now, though. 
but eventually I could use the potions in there to throw into this pit and kill all the skeletons. It's it's a much easier way to get it done. So that's the plan for that. I also added this little garbage disposal. No, no real reason. Just the wall looked empty. And then I added this uh, this little storage room back here. We have different chests for the armor, the bows, the arrows, and the bones themselves. So a whole bunch of space with that. And then I guess the last thing I want to do is just build my way up. And I want to show you guys... Uh, what this looks like up over here. So this is what it looks like inside of the spawner itself. The skeletons have a nice looking room to die in uh, before I before I take their XP and loot and all that. So <laughs> so that's oh did you you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What are you doing? What are you doing, Rusty? Um, so yeah, that is the new and improved look of the play. Oh, you can just walk out, can't you? Yeah, you could just walk right out, huh? Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, so yeah, new and improved look, not too bad at all. Then moving on downstairs, uh, I have a little bit of an update to show you guys over, yeah, more TNT, for sure. But also, a, a freshened up area. So as you can tell, I brought the path down, added a little circle here, and then I, I prob I'll probably stop the path after uh, after this area, uh, just so we'll have grass uh, everywhere else. But did that. I also added some lighting up in the ceiling as well, um, and then added some potted plants around the area, because... Uh, because why not, you know? Potted plants look cool, and that's really all I did here. But but as you can tell, I also added a whole bunch of TNT, so if we can have you sit down, Rusty, thank you. Why don't I just go ahead and uh, and uh, take a little shot, and we, we can sit back and enjoy the explosion. Hopefully this doesn't come too close to us. Oh my. Oh boy. Oh boy. Big, big explosions. Big explosions. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, there we go. It's always fun to do a little bit of uh, demolition uh, during an episode, so there we are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, and peek through all the little holes and crevices we created, see if I can find anything. Uh, but if not, I'll, I'll be right back with you. So if we move on into the storage room, I got some other stuff to show you guys. New entrance here, looking kinda cool. Also, I decided to add glowstone behind each and every one of these maps. It's uh, something you guys suggest and it looks like it really helps out. A few of you guys commented about it, and I think adding the glowstone definitely helps make the map pop, so would recommend on any of your builds. Uh, but, but that's that, so we can move on into the into the storage room itself. I've got a few upgrades to show. First off, new hidden lighting up there, uh, pretty cool. Um, also added two anvils to spice it up a little bit, and I used these anvils to go ahead and name each and every one one of the item frames so that you can tell what goes where. And, and all you gotta do to do that is just throw an item, any item, into the thing and then you can just rename it and put it into the item frame. The name will pop up and uh, and you can sort your stuff that way. So the food goes up there, any redstone items go right there, the valuables go right there, uh, uh, the different armors, y you see what I'm saying? So I got a nice little sorted system here. I, I uh, I just gotta actually start moving moving things in here, but 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 it's a process. <laughs> I also just generally touched up the place, added added some nice a little cobble and and, and, and vines and, and leaves all over. So we're just we're just making it look a little nicer. That's all. Another thing. Um, I fixed the texture pack. Like in the last episodes, the, the water wasn't working, but now it's flowing uh, in a lovely manner. So I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. Now, a few things have changed though. Like the gravel looks a little bit different. I can change that back if you like. Also, I think the grass is a little different. So uh, I still have some things to change, but, but at least the water doesn't look weird. So that's one step, I guess. And one last thing I gotta mention before we begin today's episode. Yes, a ton of you guys have been saying, please turn all of these into blocks so that I save more room, and I will be doing that. So, uh, <laughs> I'll do that after this episode, and I'll move all my stuff on into that, uh, into the storage room, so it'll be looking nice. No worries, everybody. I'm, I'm on top of it. But as you can see, folks, now we, we got 40 levels now that we got this XP farm, so so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of enchanting in here. I, I know I've got a few things I want to enchant, some armor, some books possibly, a new pickaxe, and, uh, and maybe a new helmet. I... 
I, I do want to make a new helmet real quick. I'll, I'll go do that. And the reason for that is because if I'm going to the ocean today, I, I might want some sort of uh, uh, aqua affinity, something to help out a little bit. So so we'll see what we can get. Uh, let's jump on into the enchanting table and, and take a peek. So we got the lapis in there and aqua affinity. It, it, there we go. <laughs> so why don't we grab it? Let's do it. Let's do it. And we also get fire protection, which isn't the craziest, but um, oh, and I al already had, okay, <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, uh, so we can move on to our next enchantment, um, projectile protection, possibly, uh, same thing with the pants, what about the pick, ah, come on now, what about the book, flame one, uh, okay, what about the shovel, what about the shovel, silk, t mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do silk touch on the shovel, why not, and, and then efficiency four, that's a fantastic enchantment, oh. uh, we're gonna be able to get grass very quickly now, so that's nice, fortune three, we'll take that, that instantly oh my goodness that pickaxe is insane I'll take that and then how many more levels do we have 31 one more full enchantment it's gonna go on either one of these items let's see protection three on the pants and I think I'd rather do it on the chest plate there we are ladies and gents oh my Goodness. So I'll put back all the stuff we didn't get to enchant today, but we're, we're looking pretty solid here. So we got a brand new helmet with the aqua affinity that should help out today. Uh, some protection, some fire protection. Oh boy. We're looking good. We're looking good. And, uh, and if you remember, I also have uh, this which I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and, and slap that Depth Strider onto my boots now. Why, why not? So we'll go ahead, grab this, like a so, ba chow, ba chow. There we are. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. This is awesome. Our diamond armor is all enchanted now. So that's looking pretty promising. I'm excited to see how that stuff all works out. In the meantime, though, uh, before I leave to go explore some oceans, I want to give this little bugger a home. And, uh, and, and I think it, it would make sense to have it down here. Um, maybe like right in the wall. I, I don't know how much space I have, though. It looks like I, I I should have plenty. I should have plenty. So why don't we uh why don't we get cracking, huh? Let's just uh just put it somewhere right here. Why not? So we can go back pretty far here. This is uh this is the farthest we can go. Uh at, at this cobblestone here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all the uh all the cobble there, uh, and we can take a peek at what we got. So, uh, this is definitely enough space for, for Rusty. Uh, we just got to figure out a nice way to design it. Uh, in the meantime, let me get some, uh, let me get some of this down there, just so nothing, uh, nothing funky goes on, nothing spawns in there. We should be, uh, be pretty set. So I, I want to figure out how to make this look nice uh like it's part of the part of the ravine but we turned it into a nice little crib for uh for our best friend I, that's that's the goal so um let's see if i can pull it off okay all right hey rusty i think you i think you're gonna like it why don't you step on inside come on rusty rusty come on <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Maybe he does like it. Yeah, there we go. So this is Rusty's new crib. He's got a bed right there, a nice little source of water, and then if I place this down, some little food in there. That's not bad. And then, uh, and he's got a cozy little spot. Now, I think if I put this sign right here, Rusty's home. There we go. Oh, it's looking nice. So a little, a little dog house over here, or a dog, uh, dog pen, I guess, dog area. I, I don't know what you call it, but Rusty's little spot. So once I leave, I, I can put him in here so he's safe and all that. It's, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. I'm looking forward to using that, and I think we might even use it today. So now that that's done, there's only one thing left on the to-do list. Ladies and gents, we are visiting the ocean. I've got myself a, a little prepared here. We've got a boat, a compass, and a whole bunch of food. I think that's, that's, that's really all I need. Um, I don't have any potions yet, so I can't really bring those. I don't. I, I don't really. Don't really have much else. It's uh. It's, that's that's really it. So Rusty, I, I'm saying goodbye. I'll come. I'll, I'll come back soon. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone, but um. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll bring back some cool stuff. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to the. Oh, I should 
probably sleep. I'm gonna head to the surface, and then we'll think of a plan. And here we are. I don't know exactly where the nearest ocean is. I know there's one over in this direction, so that's just where I'm gonna start. Um, I went over here and got some sand the other day, so we're heading back. Oh, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Glad to see you're still chugging over here. <laughs> we'll have to, uh, we'll have to revisit that village. I know, I know it's been a while uh, since I've been over there, but we are still gonna, gonna bring that village back to life. No worries. No worries, that will, that will be happening. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the dolphins. The dolphins are over here, they're jumping around. We got these cod, uh, some salmon, some squid. It's looking live. And it looks as if there's kelp over there too. If I take a peek under the water, how, okay. I can sort of see a good amount. Um, some, some seagrass, some kelp out there in the distance. Uh, a nice little assortment here. And look how I'm swimming! Is that not the coolest thing? <laughs> so can I can I grab some of this? Oh, is it just gonna float up like that? Okay. All right. I'll take some kelp for the road then. What about the seagrass? Can I just grab? Oh, okay. Okay, I can just grab it. Perfect. Well, let me grab a few samples of it. Why not? There we go. 15 kelp, 17 seagrass. Why don't we also uh, just throw in the boat um, and, uh, and we can uh, begin our little journey. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to find, but hopefully it's going to be something cool. Some ruins, a shipwreck, maybe. I don't know. Um, well, we're going to find out soon. These dolphins are so cool, though. And it looks as if the dolphins are all following the boat. That's so cool. <laughs> so I, uh, well... I, I haven't, uh, haven't seen anything just- Oh! No way! Can you go- Oh. My. Goodness. And is that another one there? Is that a different shipwreck? So there's a shipwreck right here, it looks like. And then there's also an even bigger one over there. Okay, and then what's off in the- Is that a, is that an iceberg? Oh my goodness. So we got one shipwreck over here, another one over there, and then it looks like that could be an iceberg biome. It's pretty exciting stuff. Let's hop down in. And I gotta be quick, because I don't have any water breathing or anything like that. Can we see what- Oh. Uh. Okay. Well. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. What? What? I know what I need to do. What if I just break the... Huh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess I'll never find out what's in the chest. Wh what about this other shipwreck, huh? Wait, could, could this one work? Maybe? I don't know, it, hopefully it will. This is looking cool, though. The ocean is so nice, and that is definitely, definitely an iceberg biome, right? For sure. Okay, so we can we can hop out of here. This is a, oh my the, the masts are out of the water. This is an impressive oh my goodness. This thing is huge. Now I gotta be careful. I don't know where the chests are in these things. Is it oh boy, I'm running out of air already. Alright, back to the surface I go. I can't explore these very well until oh that's perfect. What about this chest? There we are. Okay. It's uh it's kinda decent. I'll just I'll just grab everything, why not? Um we'll, we'll run, except for the leather armor. I don't need that and I'm about to die. Oh no. Okay, uh, I can't really <laughs> explore these very well without any uh, without any potions, so we'll have to come back to those and then hopefully find some more later. But I definitely want to go check out this iceberg biome. This is looking pretty cool as well. See you, buddies. See ya. <laughs> I know you can't follow my uh, m my boat anymore. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll come back though. On the way back, you could you can follow me. That's so cool. <laughs> the dolphins are awesome. Um, I gotta find a way around it looks as if i might just be able to walk on and here we are the iceberg biome we oh this is so cool now i think i can probably grab yeah i can grab the ice i got the silk touch pick so i can definitely uh, start harvesting a little bit of this stuff for later just in case i need it and then there's also uh, i think the new blue ice where can i find that oh oh yo 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 it's a stray it's a stray get it get it oh, oh that would that could have been bad that could have been bad hey it's some poisoned arrows i'll take those um uh, we got to go yeah over here this is the blue ice it's the brand new stuff i don't know exactly what it's used for it takes a while to break my goodness but 
we can grab it. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a few pieces here. So I'm up to 50 blue ice already, and I think I see some more over here. It's def- oh, wait a second. What is this? Is this sandstone? Uh, ooh, could this be a structure, or is this just a- just a little generation glitch that could be- yeah, I think I got excited for nothing. Okay, <laughs> more blue ice over here though. I'm gonna keep grabbing it and uh, look for anything else that's suspicious or cool or anything in between. Look at that massive beast. What an absolute unit. <laughs> I'm stalking my prey. Oh, it's got another one. There's a family member. Wait, do these guys attack me? I, I don't know. I I are they neutral or are they just gonna come up and destroy me? Hey, yeah, you look cool. Oh, we're just chilling. What's up, dude? What's up, polar bear? You would never do this in real life, right? You would never walk this close. I, I, I would feel bad. Because you're not attacking me, right? All right, I'm going to leave you be. He was cool with me. However, your friend over here, I want to say I killed... Oh, it's got a pup, though. Oh, now this one's, this one's mad. This one's mad because this one has a pup. Okay, well, I can't do that. I can't leave the... Oh. Oh, oh, now they're all mad at me. Oh, now they're all mad at me. Oh, no. All right, we got a mother and a father. I'm not going to separate the whole family, but someone's got to go. So, so you got to go, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> the cub is a little scared now. Now, no, you still, oh, okay. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to leave you be, cub. You're going to have a parent to grow up with. It's going to be lovely. I'm not going to get you. I just wanted to do it. I'm sorry. They're, they're still coming. I have, I have the fish back here. Here, take your fish. Take your fish. I don't want to. I just want to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so interesting experience in the uh, in the iceberg biome. I'm going to head back to the ocean over here. See if I can find anything else. But, uh, but like I said, I, I ain't got any potions. I don't have water breathing. So it, my, my options are limited. I think I found a new one. <laughs> I think I found a new shipwreck. It looks like there's one down there. Okay, all right, I guess I'm going. Yes, there is. All right, I need to grab as much air as possible, and I can dive. Oh, I see the chest already. Perfect, perfect. It's lined up. Can I just... Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh. So I apologize, but I can't seem to open any of these chests. Now, oh, what's back there to the right? Yo, no lie, I did not even see that when I was setting up the camera there. That is, uh, that's a new structure it looks like, right? Yeah, and the dolphins are back. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh boy, this is supposed to be one of those underwater ruins. Now, uh, not really underwater, <laughs> but I'll take it. Hey, I'll take it. Look at this, and it's got a magma block, is it? That's cool, so we can grab the magma. Oh, oh, that's a little, a little trap, a little trap there. And then is, oh, a chest. Are you going to crash my game? Yep, you are too. I don't get it. Come on, I'm just trying to have fun. So if I had to guess, I think it's happening because, uh, because of, I don't know, something to do with the treasure maps. Maybe that if a chest has a treasure map in it, it's not working properly. I, I don't know why, actually, um, because one of them did open, just the rest of them didn't. So, uh, a little bit of a shame, but, uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna take all these blocks, because, uh, they're pretty useful. And I also take the magma again. <laughs> and I guess I just gotta leave this here. Not, not really much else I can do, unfortunately. I'll leave a little blue ice marker so that I know where this is. If I can eventually come back and try to open the chest, I don't know. I... Yeah, I, I think I, I think I'm done exploring the ocean though. I, I don't want to find more stuff that I can't even open. It's a it, it's it, it's a little bit of a tease. But before I leave, I do want to try to grab some of these new fish. I, I want to see if I can secure myself a cod. Y there we go. Yeah, there we are. Okay, we got a cod. Um, I could probably get another one, right? Oh yeah, you right here. Yep. Oh no, no, no. No? Okay, come on. I'm getting a ton of water buckets here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so a paracod? I, you can't catch dolphins in them, right? There's no way you could, <laughs> you could catch a dolphin in a bucket. Oh, that would be a... Uh... No way! Is there another? 
Yo. Yeah, that's definitely another oh my. Okay, so I'm gonna call it here for the exploration. I'll meet you guys back at the base, um, and, and we'll go over the loot. I'm gonna grab a few more things on the way back. Maybe some more ice, some more kelp, some more stuff to decorate with. But um, I think I think my time here is done. And we're back, Rusty. How was it? How how'd you like this stay? Hopefully the bed was comfortable. Uh, hopefully we didn't have any intruders. I don't see any. Um, but let's go ahead and take a peek at our inventory see what we got so uh, a whole bunch of stuff I went ahead got a little bit of blue ice and packed ice oh by the way uh, that that iceberg that I thought I saw the new iceberg yeah th that was the same biome as the one I had passed earlier uh, <laughs> my mistake you guys saw we got the two buckets of cod. Um, I also went and got a whole bunch more kelp and a little bit more seagrass. Uh, I also got the slowness arrow from that stray and then the magma blocks. I guess I got two. Uh, that's cool. Um, so so yeah, there we go. Now uh, now really quick, I do want to try. I don't think I can use the kelp in my little pond, but what if I? Oh, yeah. What about that, huh? There we go. And then maybe, wait, maybe I could put the kelp. Could I put the kelp in the bottom? No. It just won't. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so a little bit of seagrass never hurt anyone now, did it? There we are. Looking nice. Now, now eventually, I want to make a much bigger pond that I can, like, put coral and stuff. Oh, what happened there? Did my salmon die? Oh, that's so sad. Uh, well, fear not. I, I have uh, I have cod now, so I can put the cod in here. Yeah, there you are. A little uh, tap out. Uh, salmon tapped out, cod tapped in. Perfect. I love it. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I eventually want to make a much bigger pond, like a lake maybe, and it could go in here. That would uh. That would be cool, although it, it's, it, it would be difficult because I'm very close to bedrock. I could, I could make it work and then eventually like put coral in it, uh, get a huge, huge area I can, I can explore underwater with, uh, maybe build my own shipwrecks and stuff. That could be fun. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that, but that's all I got for today, ladies and gents. I'm sorry that we couldn't open those chests in a future episode. We're, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a ton of potions, we're gonna get some better armor, and we're gonna be able to live underwater. And, and we'll, we'll check out a ton of shipwrecks, a ton of coral reefs, all sorts of stuff. Um, I, I just, I'm not that equipped right now, but maybe in a few episodes, maybe I just gotta get the potions first, really. So hopefully you guys had fun today, and, and, and you enjoyed the episode. I'm excited to bring you guys the next one. It should be uh, uh, it should be pretty cool. I have some awesome plans. I'm not going to spoil any of it, though. You can try to guess what's going to go down. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.